the President of the United States. May the rules be suspended. I would like to dispense with all red tape so I can answer questions directly while I have the floor. Unless there is objection, the rules of this Congress will be suspended. Gentlemen, I am here as a representative of the American people, and there are of darkest despair. A plant cannot be made to grow by watering the top alone and letting the roots go dry. The people of this country are the roots of the nation, and the sturdy trunk, and the branches too. You have spent $4 billion only to aggravate adversity. I ask for $4 billion to restore buying power, stimulate purchases, restore prosperity. You have wasted precious days and weeks and years in futile discussion. We need action, immediate and effective action. Mr. President, there is a movement in Congress for your impeachment. Hardly the time for making any requests, however small. Very well. I shall withdraw that request, but I would like to substitute another. I ask you gentlemen to declare a state of national emergency. And to adjourn this Congress, until normal conditions are restored. During the period of that adjournment, I shall assume full responsibility for the government. <laughs> Mr. President, this is dictatorship. Senator Langham, words do not frighten me. But the United States of America is a democracy. We are not yet ready to give up the government of our power. <laughs> You have given it up. You've turned your backs. You've closed your ears to the appeals of the people. You've been traitors to the concepts of democracy upon which this government was founded. I believe in democracy as Washington, Jefferson, and Lincoln believed in democracy. And if what I plan to do in the name of the people makes me a dictator, then it is a dictatorship based on Jefferson's definition of democracy, a government for the greatest good of the greatest number. Congress refuses to adjourn. I think, gentlemen, you forget that I am still the President of these United States. And as Commander-in-Chief of the Army and Navy, it is within the rights of the President to declare the country under martial law. Oh!